In the upcoming boxing match scheduled for October 14th, there are some intriguing factors that might tip the scales in favor of Dylan Dennis against Logan Paul. While it's essential to acknowledge that both fighters have their strengths and weaknesses, there are some compelling arguments for why Dennis could come out on top. First and foremost, Dennis has been relentless in his psychological warfare against Logan Paul. His online trolling, especially with the provocative pictures and allegations involving Logan's girlfriend Nina, has clearly rattled his opponent. After their face-off, it's evident that Dennis has gained a significant mental advantage. Logan's attempt to appear unfazed may be a facade, and the fact that Logan brought up Dennis' father's passing could indeed serve as motivation for Dennis to seek revenge in the ring. Logan's dismissive attitude towards training is another factor that should not be underestimated. His statement, I don't even need to train to beat you, followed by Jake Paul's comment about Logan's limited gym time, indicates a lack of dedication. This might be a trap that Logan has fallen into, underestimating Dennis' potential. Both fighters have displayed less than stellar boxing skills in their sparring footage. While Logan has the physical advantage in terms of size and potentially power, there is no concrete evidence of his knockout ability, unlike his brother Jake, who has shown one-punch knockout power. Taking into account the mind games, Logan's girlfriend being exposed to the public eye, and a motivated Dylan Dennis, it's not unreasonable to believe that Dennis could pull off an upset victory. In a year that has seen unexpected victories in the MMA world, including Dreykus Duplessis finishing Robert Whitaker, Sean O'Malley knocking out Aljamain Sterling, and Sean Strickland defeating Israel Adesanya, it's not far-fetched to think that the underdog, Dylan Dennis, could emerge victorious in this bout. It's going to be interesting to see how it unfolds, and even though the fight will 100% be fucking terrible, at least the build-up is really entertaining. As the MMA spokesman, I encourage you to share your thoughts on this matchup in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates.